Hey everybody, let's go! It's time to do another video about Splinterlands, give away some dark energy crystals, and give you some updates on the pre-sale and what I know about the Chaos Legion general sale as well. Now, not everything on this will be for sure because some of the stuff is still up in the air and we're waiting for a post from Splinterlands to really explain everything about the general sale pre-order stuff and some of the things they've hinted at during the AMAs, some of the stuff they went over in the Digicon event that I didn't get to go to as much as I wanted to, but I did go ahead and listen back to uh, Agro speaking and it was kind of an off the cuff, like not really planned thing it seemed like. And he just went through kind of his deck that he goes with, I think when talking to kind of brand new, almost like guilds or investors to the game. But it was really nice to see because once again in that he, uh, he, he explained that we are the value, that the people are the value, not even our time, but us and us being interested in the game is really what makes Splinterlands just such a valuable thing. As you can see, I've been covering a lot of Splinterlands stuff recently. I've been going a lot on a lot about our pre-sale group. It's been pretty fun to do. And I obviously, I say, share all my videos over here on Hive, on my Hive blog. And this is where you need to enter if you want to get on the wheel to go ahead and have a chance to win the Dark Energy Crystals. I like to get that done a little bit early. So this is everybody that commented last week on the Hive post that got a chance to get in. Sorry if you post on YouTube. I don't really go through those because you should have a Hive account if you are a Splinterlands player and I don't feel like I'm asking a whole lot to have you come over here and just uh, make a quick little comment. <laughs> Congratulations to Holy Grail 05. We'll close that out and we'll get you your dark energy crystal sent over and then we'll talk a little bit about where we are with the pre-sale. Let's go player. Transfer that out. As you can see, I did get my energy capture rate back up after a really tough end of the season and me going down pretty low to get myself to that champion two level. I'm currently hanging out only in the diamond league, just kind of haven't really started to grind yet on the new season. I want to bring up one more tab because there's one thing I forgot to have up and that's the voucher price. We'll take a quick look at that and then we'll get into the pre-sale, where it's at, how much of it's been sold and if my group is still sitting at number one, what do you think at this point? I think we might be, <laughs> spoiler, but there's still enough packs out there in circulation to where some very big players could come in. Now, voucher prices, I have to admit, I was wrong with the pre-sales coming to an end and they are going down in price instead of up in price. I thought vouchers would go up. They haven't quite hit the very lows that they've been um, going back. They're maybe like, well, they're right about there at their very, at their very lows of early on. And, and the plain fact of the matter, I think, uh, the reason for this, and uh, a lot of us older players may be a little bit upset about this, but you can't be that upset because Splinterlands was nice enough to go with a voucher program that drove a lot of value to us original players. But this pre-sale that they're going to do in the general sale, I feel is hurting the voucher price. It's slowing down the pre um the, the this first million pack of sales and i expect it to kind of slow down packs one to three million that are supposed to be sold with vouchers before we go in until voucher price gets pushed down much much lower and that's because with voucher prices up around 16 dollars uh or 17 dollars or 18 dollars where you're paying a 20 dollars for a pack in the general sale if you get in on a pre-order group 20 dollars will get you four packs and while while you would get in maybe on a Dr. Blight, um, there's a good chance you could just pick those up on the market. And like, like so let's say you were going to get a thousand packs for right now, which would roughly cost you if you didn't have any vouchers over sixteen thousand dollars for the vouchers and then an additional three to four thousand dollars for the one thousand pack so you're looking at a twenty thousand dollar buy whereas you can go ahead and just put a four thousand dollar order in with a pre-sale group for the for the general sale that'll get you your thousand packs so you'll have a thousand packs of cards to open and then you, when when dr blight hits the market you would have sixteen thousand dollars that you could go spend on buying dr blights and see if you can't get the ones that you would have got in the pre-order Th this is why the fact that they it, that it got out that this was possible and that these big guilds were going to get this these deals and those big giant guilds weren't getting pushed back into the into the game the pushing and shove that, that it was talked about like go push and shove there might not be enough for you guys it's turning out to just not be as true now things could change maybe in the last 
three days of the pre-sale some people finally FOMO in because they want that Dr. Blight card I personally don't think he's strong enough to do that a four cost card is never going to dominate a game so even though he's a promo card he's really cool his backstory is amazing utility in game is going to be only dominating in little league so one game mode other than that he's going to be a great add-in and he's going to be a fun card to have for your team but he's not you know he's not a cron he's he's not one of those you know the cube in certain situations he's not one of those cards that is going to win a match all by himself i don't believe I might be proved wrong, but I really feel that that's one of the reasons why the vouchers and the pre-sale hasn't been really just flying off the shelves. And so if we go to the leaderboard, we can see currently the card auction.com, which is the group I'm in with Marcus, we're at 12,000 packs bought. He is still up until probably the day before this ends, allowing people to come. And what he's doing now is he has packs on hand from his pre-order buy. He's letting you give him vouchers and SPS for immediate packs with the 20% discount as he's trying to build us up to one last 2,000 pack buy. He's also still issuing us the CAD tokens. And if I go to my wallet here, you're going to see that some people have started to realize that these CAD tokens have some value. So we're still trading at around you know, $11,000 for my 1,200 tokens. And that's because it is ownership of all the extra cards that are going to be given out in that airdrop. Again, I'll have the link to the Discord if you want to come and talk to him. If you've got some vouchers and they're not selling for as much as you thought they were going to, so you just want to go ahead and get some packs, you can do any amount right now, get the 20% discount, get your CAD tokens. They have to be in groups of five if you want the 20% to get you an extra pack and an extra token. That's just a little thing I wanted to let you guys know about going on in here. Now, when we go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that came up in the AMA, for the most part, I would say there wasn't like really big news there. He didn't really go over. There was nothing like groundbreaking that came out of it. The servers are doing a little bit better. They've got some more developers, just kind of good overall, like small updates. The real big thing that came out of there is we got some cool art to look at. So I'll go ahead and bring this over here. This is one of the uh, legendary water cards that'll be coming out. And as you can see, the art is just coming to a new level. We have one of the rare fire cards that is looking pretty cool. There was some backstory given out in the AMA. Uh, you can find that if you wanna know a little bit more about these monsters. All of the fire ones look really cool. We'll go ahead and get up the uh, the epic one that they gave us a, a little taster of. And then one other thing is they gave us this cool background that you could use with the uh, new epic fire monster. And I probably should have tried to remember their backstories or go back and listen to it, but I just didn't have enough time recently. I've been really busy with a lot of different stuff that's going on out there, and it's just been a really, really fun time in crypto for me. A lot of really good stuff going on. So getting back into... Um, the, the, the big updates that I see coming is us finding out how the general pre-sale will work. Now, they didn't say anything uh, official in the uh, AMA. Agro did defend it. He's pretty much said it's not, it, it's not a private sale. It's just a pre-order, and anybody that can reach that level of packs can go ahead and come, in, come to them and be like, hey, I want to do a bulk buy, and they've always done these bulk buys. And he didn't see the big problem. They did kind of address loosely one problem that we all were possibly seeing and that's that if a couple big guilds come in between the five or eight of them pre-order three million packs that's three airdrops that'll just disappear off the market so you know what happens like who even gets the airdrops you know do the first three guilds get the first airdrop the next guilds get the second and then the the guilds who were unlucky enough to put their pre-order in last they they only get the third they, they haven't officially said how they were going to do this, but they did hint in the AMA that they might say, hey, if you pre if you get your orders in 100,000 packs before the pre-order or more, we're going to somehow count all that packs for all the airdrops. That's kind of interesting. I don't know how much players will like that if that's what they end up doing because that's going to mess up the odds. Like right now we get a Dr. Blight one in each 50 packs in, the, for, in 1 million packs. Now, in theory, um, uh, 2 million packs, another legendary would be 1 in 100. If another legendary was dropped as the third airdrop, if you keep going up, you know, 1 more million packs, you add more, a 1 in 150 pack. So it would keep kind of going up like that, I believe. But then if you have to like go, okay, we're going to issue you three airdrops at time and add 3 million packs at the same time into your pre-ordered packs, you're not getting that same 
um, pack. You know, you're not getting what you were expecting. Like my my thousand packs so far, I bought in the pre-order, which got me actually 1,200. It, it wouldn't get as many airdrops as I might expect for airdrop number four if it's mixed in with airdrop five, six, and seven. So they're going to have to, you know, tell us how they're going to do that and how the math is going to work. I don't know for sure at all what they're going to do. I haven't seen anything that lays this out concretely, but it is pretty clear that they're not going to say no to these guilds. And I do want to defend that a little bit. I did disagree with them and I kind of fought back about them, but my only big fight and disagreement was when I was under the impression that this deal was only being offered to the big guilds. Once it was made very, very clear that any player can join up with another group of players like we did for our pre-sale group that got us into number one place right now at least, but anybody that's willing to 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 join up into a group, and I hope I'm going to be pushing Marcus. Hopefully, I'll be televising the group that I'm going to be taking part in for the presale because I want to get some packs at the just four dollar price with no vouchers, obviously. But the um, but once he said anybody can come in, anybody can do it as long as you're getting to that twenty five thousand pack order or a hundred thousand dollar order. So that, that'll be the goal for that. We'll need a lot of people. If you've been holding off, if you were holding off to only buy $4 packs and you want to make sure you get them, you're going to have to be able to come and trust a group. I Hopefully you can look at this and you can see that already Marcus has been good to his word. He's, he's bought 12,000 packs. He's distributed them all to everybody that was supposed to get them. And with $20 vouchers involved, 12,000 packs at $20 a pack is a lot of money. It's over $200,000 in assets that were entrusted to him and he delivered all of them to everybody that put in without any problems. And he also created that new token that represents ownership of this brand new account that he bought. I don't think anybody is touching uh, the deal that he is offering to people because he's not really doing this to make money. He's not doing all this work to make money. He's really doing all this work to, I think, build up a community of people and let them know about him and what he does and support his card auction site and just other things. And and he really, really wanted to get this, uh, this design. And then he plans to auction that design off and then go ahead and add even more value to the CAD token that he created. Because I think he wants to prove that what he's doing is going to work and that it's going to be really special for people. So hopefully, you know, you come to his Discord, there'll be a link below, and you talk through it. You could do it now and, and, and tomorrow probably, and then we'll be coming to the end here pretty soon, you know, just about three days. And right now it's 4 o'clock on Sunday when I'm making this video, so you're looking at, you know, probably Tuesday would be early in the morning would be your last chance to come and try to get those orders in. We are pushing maybe a few last big buyers to come in to keep us on the leaderboard because like I said, if you look at how many packs have been pre-ordered, it's only 663,000 of the 1 million packs. That means there's over 300,000 vouchers out there that have not been used. So it would be possible for six people to get 20,000 vouchers and come in and just knock all these top six people completely off of here by putting in 20,000 pack buys. Now the voucher price hasn't been dropping fast enough for, for that to necessarily happen. Let's go ahead and get over here. And we'll go back to voucher. So it's still sitting here at a sixteen dollars, uh, almost seventeen dollars actually. And if we look at the depth chart, I know this isn't everything, but you know, even if someone were to come and buy everything on the market right now, it's only three thousand vouchers. So I don't know where those other three hundred thousand or so vouchers are hiding. Uh, maybe this goes out farther and they're listed really, really high. We'll have to see what's going to happen with this over the next three days but i don't know if we're going to actually see that big update and price so i hope this helps you out a little bit i know this video is maybe a little bit shorter but i just kind of wanted to touch base on the ama show off some of the cool new artwork if you hadn't seen it give you an update on our pre-sale pack group give out a little dark energy crystals and keep promoting the game splinterlands is a, a really interesting game if you've been thinking about getting into it now is the time to set up your account get to know some people join either my telegram group or marcus's discord and and if you want those four dollar packs you have to be ready to possibly get into one of the pre-order groups because now that anybody can do a pre-order group you have a lot of the big players of the game the current players who aren't in guilds going fine we're going to band together you have neil mcfadden and gerber creating a special group that's going to put in a big buy you have marcus who i think is going to be trying to do a big buy you also have the guy who runs my bot service 
uh, VN Dragon. He's putting together a group to do a big buy, mostly the people that use his bot. So there, there's a lot of different groups out there that could be coming in to do very, very big buys. So it is a realistic idea to me that we could see this slowly go to 3 million packs sold and then jump from 3 million packs sold to 8 to 9 or 10 million packs sold. Uh, some people think we're going to see all 15 million disappear in, in that pre-order. I don't know if the guilds out there are looking to make buys that big. It's more packs than Splinterland has ever sold before. I know that uh, of the two leaders, Matt doesn't think that'll happen. And Aggie is kind of leading towards maybe that will happen. So we don't know for sure what's going to go on and where we're going to go. So thanks, everybody. I hope you have a good time. I hope you're, you know all your NFT games are treating you really well. And I will talk to you all later.